Now, as Britain marks the second anniversary of its Brexit referendum today, the border between Northern Ireland and the Irish Republic remains a point of contention in negotiations with the European Union. Now, the issue at the heart of this entire thing is as to how the border could actually remain invisible if much greater trade differences exist between the two regions. Now, it is a cause for concern in the picturesque Carringford Ferry, a link between North and South that only set sail less than a year ago. Here's a report. The scenic Carlingford Ferry Company is sailing towards its first anniversary on the water. But celebration of a year's steady growth threatens to be overshadowed by another anniversary, that of Britain's Brexit referendum. That's because the ferry crosses between the Irish Republic and Northern Ireland. They have spent 10 million developing this because they had to develop this, develop uh, landing facilities to the other side and uh, well, we don't know what's going to happen, uh, whether there will be customs here and customs the other side, or, you know, will there be free movement of people? The scenic ferry has reduced a 90-minute car journey to a quarter of an hour cruise. But the ferry crosses the border between the Irish Republic, which is in the EU, and Britain's Northern Ireland. When the UK leaves the EU, trade rules are expected to become very different on either side of the border but locals are still waiting to find out how this would be enforced. If there were to police this and all, it would be stupid, really. Like, you know, but people can get across, you know. But you can get across small boats as well, so it's just not just this here. You know, but uh, the Brexit, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't think anybody knows what's going to happen. So they don't want to... Hopefully the island will stay open and, and we'll all free trade all around. I think that's the best way forward. There's even disagreement about where the border actually is. The Republic argues that it should be drawn straight down the middle of the lock, but this would cut through the shipping lane of one of Northern Ireland's busiest ports. Meanwhile, commuters who live and work on opposite sides of the border could face passport checks on the ferry crossing. We are used to, over the last 20 years to the freedom of movement and no restrictions whatsoever, um, freedom of goods, freedom of services. This whole mess is going to do untold damage to this region. Locals can only wait for the final result of Brexit negotiations. Until then, the Carlingford Ferry will battle on through choppy Brexit waters.